Now we will uh, focus on one thing: terminable middleware. We saw in the previous chapter about the role middleware, how middleware has been created, and how it is executed in the browser. So once you create a middleware, it's important to be terminated also. So that is done with the help of terminable middleware. It performs some task after the response has been sent to the browser. So some task which has sent to the browser, that task has been performed with the help of middleware, and the response which has been executed from the user has been implied. Like it will make an analysis of that, and accordingly it will terminate. Another thing, terminable middleware comes with the category of global middleware. We saw role middleware, how it has been executed, how it is under root middleware category, how it is displayed in the browser. Terminable middleware comes with the category of the global middleware. It has two arguments. It will receive two arguments, that is dollar request and dollar response. So now let's check it in our command prompt. Like first, we'll create a terminable middleware. Okay, so this is my browser. Here I'll create a terminable middleware. It is PHP artisan make middleware terminal middleware. So it has been created successfully. So now we will do one thing. We'll make some kind of customization in the code in terminal middleware. We'll make some changes in kernel dot PHP and routes dot PHP, and let's check it out in the browser how it will be displayed. So let's go to the code associated with it. So it's in C drive, sample project, and inside sample project and the app middleware. Now this is the one which I created just now, right now. Okay, so it has two things associated with it. We saw the parameters dollar request dollar next how it has been worked. Now we will do one thing. I will echo a statement over here. So that statement will be like echo. Like when the uh, middleware is executed, before that I'll echo a statement. And once we terminate a middleware, I will echo another statement. So this will give a better picture of how terminable middleware works. So, so this is my middleware. Now, create my statements of handle method of terminal middleware yeah. it's terminate middleware which you are now I have given a name as terminal middleware now I will add another function we have handle in the similar way I'll add another function name public function terminate as Terminal middleware as the, the one terminate middleware it take, takes two parameters dollar request and dollar response so I'll include here dollar request and dollar response why these two parameters are associated with it it is like to implement the action as per the request sent and as per the res response has been received for the concerned request so now here I'll print echo the statement echo executing uh, statements of terminate method of this middleware. Okay, uh, do imply semicolon or else it will show a syntactical error. Okay, done. So I have created two functions. Now I will do one thing as we registered every middleware in kernel.php so in the similar way here in the kernel.php I will also register for terminal middleware. So inside the root I will register for terminal middleware and my associated name will be terminate. Terminate and that will be app http Instead of authenticate, I'll mention the middle web colon colon. Okay. 
if you feel so that you have missed out something or the spelling mistakes is not correct then it's better to take a class name over here and directly copy paste it here instead of avoiding any kind of mistake now i'll create a controller like i created test controller in the similar way i'll create another controller for now the controller will be like uh, abc controller so let's create abc controller same way php artisan make controller a b c controller avoid uh, caps everything in this caps is not good so abc controller i have created it now i will do one thing i will make some changes associated with it so in controller i will add a function like here we have controllers abc controller it is blank for now it has all associated thing namespace use eliminate all that thing it is using request also now i will do one thing i will add a function over here command would be basic function okay echo i'll echo um let's include a break tag the name of controller is a b c controller okay so i have echoed in it the basic function will be sorry we have forgot to mention the fun function name that is will be public function index okay never do such things you might miss it out so yeah now it's done so let's check how it will be visible in the browser so before getting visibility in the browser let's include in our routes.php we will also include a routing thing over here in the same way we did for role the same we will do for terminate so here we will do the name will be terminate because the name registered in kernel.php is terminate middleware is my output will be terminate users my controller name users is to mention which controller is being associated with it my controller name abc controller at index at index means it is using the function index so let's check in our browser how it is visible so in our browser i will mention localhost colon 8000 terminate okay something error has gone reflection plus maybe we must have forgot some kind of the syntactical error let's check it out so okay so the error was nothing but associated with like mentioning the name yeah important thing about middleware always mention the name starting with the capital letter or else it will display an error that something is not being found so let's check in our browser again we will associate it as so c it is executing statement of the terminal middleware and i am using abc controller and executing statements of terminate method of this middleware so the method has been executed properly so this way the terminate middleware helps in uh, associating the functions with it so now this ends with our chapter of middleware like how middleware works with laravel how it is executed in the screen